<laughs> Let's kind of review more about what we know with, with lines. Do you guys remember the standard form for a linear equation? A x plus B y is equal to C. We've already talked about how the slope intercept form <coughs> slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Now we're talking about intercept, but you need to understand what we mean by that. Um, what is the x-intercept? What does that mean? the point where the point where the line crosses the x axis where you cross the x axis is super important to us and you got to find that out in the next chapter that's what we spend most of our time on where do we cross the x axis what does it mean that means every x intercept has what what do you know about that if you cross the x-axis, what do we know? What? Uh, y is zero. Y is zero, so we're just going to let lowercase a <coughs> represent the x-coordinate. So the y-intercept has a very similar definition that we've seen before. And this is the point, point where the line crosses the y-axis. And what do we know about every y-intercept? We know that x is 0. Mm -hmm. This is what we know about x and y-intercepts. It's always going to be this way. The y-intercept is one of the easiest guys to find when you're talking about a function. Because when you're talking about y-intercept in terms of a function, this means you're looking for f of 0. So f of 0 is going to equal that, that b. Okay. Love dealing with the x and y intercepts, especially when you have something like this. Actually, let me do this on another page. Well, I just don't really have enough room here, do I? If I were to take this guy, 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. And I want to find the x and y intercept. Okay. What do you already know about your x intercept? Y zero. What do you know about your y intercept? <coughs> So you already know that, so the rest of this is fairly simple. Mm -hmm. Since you know for the x-intercept that y is 0, I can just cover this guy up. And when I cover that up, I see that 3x equals 6, so ha x has to equal what? 2. x has to equal 2. Now, if you don't like that, you can go and do the long way and say, OK, well, if I know that y is 0, then I have an equation here that I know how to solve. 3x plus 0 equals 6. 3x equals 6, and then divide both sides by 3. But I don't know about you, but that seems like an awful waste of time. But hey, I, you know what? Never mind. I just, it's one of those days. The y-intercept, x is 0, so all you have to do is cover that guy up. If x is 0, I see that positive 2y equals 6, so what does y equal? Mm -hmm. I know we gotta work it out there. What? Yeah, if you, if you want to work it out on the bottom, you can do that. It's okay. <laughs> you could just look at this and divide both sides by 2, and that'll work too. <laughs> now, what are we going to do with these points? <laughs> Plot them! <laughs> Where does every x-intercept go? On the x-axis. Oh my word, how does that work? 
So it goes at 2, 0. It's the x intercept. I even have it. Look, they're numbered, and you see the sign. Put a little, put a little pretty dot right there. It's fantastic. And where does every y intercept go? It goes on the y-axis all the time. That's right, sweetie, all the time. Now this is a positive three. He goes right here. Oh, he's so cute. Now this is supposed to be a line because these are linear functions, right? So I can extrapolate fancy word and I can get the other points. From here to here, what did I do? Down 3 over 2. Let's keep doing that. Down 3 over 2. Down 3 over 2. Down 3 over 2. I can go backwards and get more. Up 3 to the left 2. Up 3 to the left 2. Does that look like it forms a straight line? You better believe it, son. We need a nice straight edge. Don't you agree? You know what? No, we need a, we need a really good straight edge. Uh, yeah, you're uh. It looks about right, so we draw the line. Has an array? Oh, array has a single point, right? Array has a terminating point, terminating and it goes point. off. Infinite. Yes, in one direction. Lines go on forever in both directions. Now, I'm glad you mentioned Ray. He was the guy that shot the deer. You know doe a deer, female a deer? Ray, the guy that shot the doe? Um, now, if I don't put the arrows here, I would have a line segment. I didn't ask you to graph a line segment. I, gra I asked you to graph a line. And so this is what you would have. Now, here's how you can make sure that you do have, well, better not do that. How you know what you have is correct. Pick off some points that you didn't use to graph. Like we use these guys, pick something else. Like I see, this guy right here is the ordered pair four, <coughs> negative three. That should work if I plug it back into the original. So for the original guy, so that's 3x plus 2y equals 6. If I plug in 4 and negative 3, this better be true. I get 12 minus 6, which does equal 6. I could pick another point, maybe somewhere up here, and test it as well. Do that to make sure that what you have is correct.